Yo dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting. Hitting you up on a Monday, my favorite day of the week. Um, Ronan, my most recent Patreon supporter. Thank you for becoming a patron of the arts. Thank everyone for checking out my Patreon page. It means a lot to me. It helps us spread the love and how to bring hobby back in this community. Additionally, don't forget to check me out at Twitter at yo dog underscore Kenny. Please check me out on Facebook forward slash next level pro painting and obviously Instagram next level painting. The more places I have the hobby news, you know, um, the link backs to the YouTube channel, that is our way of reaching as many people as possible with bringing hobby back. Like I know I sound like a broken record, I say this all the time. The way we're gonna bring hobby back is with a bigger audience. We need to hit more people. You know, this is a community and, and what I've seen from you guys has been huge. Been seeing a lot of shout outs and a lot of other YouTube channels. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna get into that here soon. Uh, maybe this week I'll start shouting some other people out that have inspired me. This process is relatively new to me. I have been lucky enough that I have a lot of friends that help me out, you know, help me improve my audio, help me improve my visuals, like better lighting, etc. The Patreon support has allowed me to immediately start figuring out what the next, you know, the next jump is. I'm thinking maybe uh, better lighting. Like, I don't know, you know, but I'm talking to a lot of people right now. I'm very committed to improving this entire process. I'm always committed to the paint jobs, to the tutorials, etc. But I know that if you show people those things in a crappy way, it's not going to help. It needs to be high level. This week, I'm going to have um, the third part of the Painting the Warhound Titan video. We're going to start moving to some really interesting stuff. Thank you guys for checking out part one and part two. I know they're not... Um, I know it's like the long, you know, the, the long con almost like I, I broke up this four part video and, a, and a, you know, that was like insane amount of footage into these four parts. Um, I feel like if I were able to redo it, I could do it a little bit better and I'll prove that to you guys with the Chaos Night Titan tutorial. That is really going to show you the evolution of this process. It's going to be a lot more coherent, a lot more interesting, a lot more uh, fast paced but still shows a lot more. Like you guys have helped me get to that point and I can't wait to drop that. I might, that might be the very next thing after I finish the night, uh, the Warhound Titan. Um, actually, I'm gonna have a special little mini tutorial. I actually did have time to slap something together for you guys. I've been painting five Blood Angel Scouts uh, with a secondary priest on bike. Now we all know, maybe we don't all know, but that's the Blood Angel Codex. Secondary priest on bike, five scouts. That adds basically funeral pain to any Battle Brother Death Star. That is the heat. Go make yourself five Blood Angel Scouts and Sanguinary Priest on bike if you play Space Wolves. If you play almost anything that has like a bike star in it, anything, and you don't want to buy a Command Squad, it is huge. You know, like you can do a Chapter Master instead of a Command Squad, you can do a Chapter Master with a Troop Choice Bike Squad, you know, with three grav guns and make it like, with an attack bike even, make it huge and a scoring unit and add this to it and now they have funeral pain. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do. So one of my clients, you know, who's doing a space work commission with me the last second was like, hey man, what do you think What do you think about Blood Angels? Like, I think you need this aggregate piece on bike to add to your Thunder Wolves. So I am filming myself painting five Blood Angel Scouts and a secondary piece on bike. I will have something cut for you guys by tomorrow. So look at that for tomorrow. I will have a little mini tutorial, maybe a part one, part two. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna get them all done, but I am gonna show you like how to lay down the basic colors, then get to the washing stage and then start doing the detail stage. Obviously, I start everything off with an airbrush. So that's gonna be a fun little tutorial. Uh, we'll hit you guys with that tomorrow. Then obviously a Wednesday, I'll hit you with the Warhound Titan. The rest of the week, I don't know, maybe I'll hit you guys with my third part of basic airbrushing. You know, maybe I'll start breaking the airbrush down in front of you guys while I use it and show you some of my cleaning methods. Uh, hit me up in the description box. Obviously, if you guys want to see these things, let me know. I also, like I said, I'm taking suggestions for the rest of the week. I'm going to do my best. Uh, I might do another tips and tactics. I'm hung up on Chaos Hard right now, Chaos Space Marines. I got all sorts of new cool things with Chaos Lords and Spawn Units I would love to talk about. If that's something you guys want to hear, talk about it. If you guys want to hear anything tips and tactics related, I'll take a request. Like, you know, if, if we get enough people saying the same thing, I'll try to do that. Uh, you know, in the meantime, though, you know, I, I just want to thank you guys for the support, man. Like, the subscriptions, everything, man. Like, it is so crucial, man. Like, thank you guys for the shout-outs on the internet. Like, I mean, obviously, like, I'll do my own little shout-outs thing later, but it's huge, man. Like, the, the support we're getting, like, that proves to me 
that this hobby is still here, it's still righteous, and people still want to get down to business and play this game. You guys are proving that to me. The vocal minority is almost silent on our page. Like we almost don't even hear them. And we already have over 2,000 people with us right now. And we've only, this is only our sixth week. Like, I mean, so it's, it's getting down to business. And like, also don't forget the long war. The long war is a joint channel. I'll provide the link right here. Please go to it. Give us a subscription. Um, like I said before, YouTube has milestones. You need to hit like 500 subscribers before you can do this. You need a thousand before you can do that. We're not entirely sure what this page is going to be about, except that we know for sure the battle reports will live there. We're going to start dropping some free content on there. You know, really detailed battle reports, how to play the game. So like, I know that part of the hobby is playing the game. It's the tactics, right? Getting it down. So not everyone has all the time to figure all the things out, but they do want to eventually play games with their toys. If you fantasize about your toys, read about your toys, and then you paint them and build them up. And you know, like, obviously you want to beat somebody down with your toys. I mean, that's, that's the final stage, right? I mean, obviously you can't win every game, but you want to win some of them, right? You want to take your beautifully painted models and you want to lay it down on somebody. And that's what the battle reports are about. We're really going to try to hit you with current events, things that are happening right now in the meta, bring some people in. We're going to really try to make really fast paced, coherent battle reports with some in-depth commentary. We're also going to try to provide maybe some pre-game, some post-game options. The thing about the long war is that is where the battle reports are going to live. We also might provide additional content, like some of these tutorials, etc. between me, Rob Bear, Spiky Bits. We are in flux trying to figure all that out right now. So what I'm saying is a subscription would be huge over there because we're actually, if we're going to do anything, if we're going to do any kind of subscription based content, if we're going to do any kind of pay-per-view content over there to try to generate some cool revenue for the channel so that way we can keep advancing, we need at least a thousand subscribers. Like in the, in the, the facts of it is, is like once you get a thousand subscribers and you click that option on your YouTube channel, you lose your thousand subscribers just like that. They're gone. It changes the parameters of the channel. So YouTube does it because they want to make sure you're sure they want to make sure you're committed. So that's, we're just trying to like, if we click that button, we want to click it as soon as possible so that we don't lose too much progress with it. You know, but we are going to start dropping free stuff to prove to you guys that whatever we do in the future, it is worth it. We're going to hit you with the highest level quality. Like everything we're doing here is literally just a prototype to that. We're going to get better cameras, better lighting, better mics, better process, better editors. I already have all half of that stuff because of the support on Patreon. Thank you guys. And the support of this channel. I have noticed a ton of fan funding coming in on the channel. That is allowing me to move this along super fast. That channel will probably drop in April and it will drop at a high level quality. But in the meantime, we're really going to try to show you our new stuff, our new quality, our new techniques. Um, we're going to have something here very soon for you guys. It was filmed with a camera that I eventually want to buy. I don't own it right now. I had to basically rent it. Um, it might not be the battle report might not be the battle report might not be put together the way they're always going to be put together, but it was kind of just showing you like the quality that we can hit the shots, the, the details, uh, we're going to lean heavy on the, on, on the uh, commentary in that video, but in the future, we're going to get really dynamic, really coherent. I just want to show you the quality that we can hit with, you know, with regular support and buying these insanely expensive pieces of equipment. Uh, so thank you guys. Like I can't say it again. I know I'm running on rambling. Please check out the long war. Please check out Forge narrative. The seasonal is this month. The end of this month Forge the narrative is having right now already almost 50 people registered. It's a two day event here in Durham at atomic empire. I'm going to be there. Paul Murphy's going to be there. Rob Bear's going to be there. Juicy's going to be there. We're going to have a lot of support there. The, the venue sells beer. There's a hilariously awesome Mexican restaurant with incredibly unnecessarily tall glasses of beer there for ridiculously low prices. We are going to have a lot of fun. We really emphasize the social contract. Please come out, support the event. If you're local, if you're you know, a couple hours away, you know, there's a lot of cheap hotel options there. They're all on forgedenarrative.com and Forge the Narrative Facebook. Check it all out, please. Anyway, man, thanks for watching me and indulging me today. I know I'm just kind of on a tangent. It's a Sunday. Uh, yesterday was my anniversary, uh, which is cliche. It was Valentine's Day. That was our first official date was on Valentine's Day and it's been two years. So I was really busy yesterday, obviously. Um, so I'm trying to get this out here quick. I'm going to be working on stuff the rest of today and like 
this is Sunday for me, Monday for you guys. I'm gonna be busting it out, trying to get these blood angels done for you guys. In the meantime, thanks for watching, players. Yo, dog, don't forget, tutorials drop every Wednesday. Here are a few tutorials I've done in the past. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Spiky Bits on YouTube. Raw Bear's dropping some sick tutorials over there. And please check out The Long War, our new heat.